Hey guys, what's up? Ian here. And today I've got a new background. Just, just white wall with flowers and vines. Nothing too special. But I thought I'd do something a little bit different from for this video. I don't want to stay in the same location every single video. So today I'm going to be reviewing. I actually have it here. The skillet. The wake. Yeah, this is the other one. This isn't the most recent release. Just more recently, they came out with guys. This is their seventh full-length studio album, and one thing that I was surprised about was the production. And probably, let's start off with the production. The production was pretty good. I liked it. It didn't, you still can't really hear the bass. I don't think you're ever going to hear the bass on a Skillet album. That's just, you don't have that kind of production style, really. But it was good. It wasn't completely 100% clean that you can hear everything. You could hear the drums okay. Of course, you can hear the guitars, the vocals. It was good. I liked the production. Now, let's go into the things I didn't like about the album. This album was absolutely terrible. It sucked all the way through. There was absolutely no good part in the entire album. It was absolutely not creative at all. The writing was terrible. The only thing good about this album was the production, really. The drums sucked. They got a new drummer, by the way, which... Come on, pick someone else for a new drummer. It just The drums sucked. Never heard the bass. Because the some of the, somewhat the production the production kind of sucked in a way because you can't hear the bass but like I said before you're never gonna hear the bass on a skillet album <coughs> and the guitar sucked the song monster is probably the worst song on this album which everybody loves so much I don't know why it's almost like monster and whispers in the dark were like so similar they both sucked in my opinion my opinion. They both sucked, but everybody likes them so much. Although I will say, the intro to the song Hero, with his, which is the first track, I believe. The intro, before it starts off with the guitar, that, that little... You know, the, the intro before, like, the main intro. Not the whole entire intro before, like, the lyrics or something. It was good. It was decent. And then everything just went downhill from there. This it just went from Hero, which was pretty decent intro, not too great of a song. I wouldn't mind listening to it. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't. In my opinion, if I if you were to ask me what song I would pick to listen to, just out of a random question, I would pick Hero. I really would. Monster sucks. Let's see what else of the songs are in this CD. Don't Wake Me. Don't remember that one. Or, oh yeah, the, the title track, Waking Alive. <sighs> oh my goodness, that's probably the worst song in the entire album. It sucks. Sometimes sucks. Lucy sucks. Which is, that was a weird song. And I need to clear my throat. Yeah. That beat for sometimes in the, in the the song sometimes. This is another song on the album that kind of starts off kind of good. I mean, it's not like very good. It's kind of good. It's pretty decent, like 50/50 or something. And then it goes into the chorus, and it's just terrible. Um, similar to the song Hero. But Hero just sucked all the way through, except for the intro. This one, this the first verse was, you know, from the intro to the first verse on Sometimes. It was, 
it was decent. It was like 50-50 kind of thing. And then it goes to the course, and the course absolutely, absolutely sucked. This, I know, like I said in my other review, how uh, Whispers in the Dark sounded like a bonus track, that one song on the album, because bonus tracks suck anyway. This entire album felt like a bonus track. Like the entire album, every single song, even the ones that will, even the intro songs, the intro to the songs that I just mentioned, Hero and Sometimes, that were pretty decent, they still sounded like bonus tracks just so, and it, it actually does have bonus tracks too. Which is like the song Monster Radio Edited, which makes no sense. Just why would you have it radio edited? I never got that. I, from what I remember, I could be wrong here, but there's it's absolutely no difference except for like the tone or something. I don't know. But yeah, by the way, the riff for Monster was so boring and so stupid. I couldn't even listen to the rest of the song. As soon as I heard that riff, for the first time, the first time I ever heard that riff, I was like, okay, I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. And then I tried to listen to it again to review it. I could not listen to the entire song. So I, don't, I can't say anything about the verses, of course. It just sucked all the way. This album is worth nothing. It's terrible all the way. The drummer, Sucks. They should have never gotten that drum roll. Guitars st suck. I didn't. I can't remember any keyboard stuff, but I, I think there was some keyboard. This keyboard sucks anyway. I've never been a big fan of the keyboard. Even on the, some of the good albums, the keyboard on that. Um, skillet. I don't know why on earth I couldn't say that. When viewing them, but yeah. Overall, this album did suck. On a technical level, it was not great at all. It wasn't. It's, it's like, as soon as you heard some of the beats, it's like, okay, that sounds like a hundred other songs. It was just, they didn't. There was absolutely no creativity on this album. And overall, it's worth not listening to. I definitely do not recommend it, even if you are a fan of Skillet. Unless you've already listened to it, then I feel sorry for you. Well. That's pretty much all I gotta say for this review. I'm going to give this wolfless piece of junk a 0 out of 10. There you go.